in this box is our haul from the Southern Invert Show. Hello and welcome back back from <laughs> I'm tired. It's not that again. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So we've finally made it back from the Southern Invert Show over in Brighton. Massive thanks to Arachnobeth for driving us up and driving us back. I thought it was a really good, really good show. I had a really good time. We had an amazing time. We actually behaved a lot better than we planned the night before. Yeah. We were in bed by like half past 12, something like that. Incredible. Yeah. And you had a good birthday? I did, I had a really good birthday. Yeah, thank you to everyone that came over and wished her a happy birthday. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, we yeah. had quite a few people do that, didn't yeah. we? Really, really nice. Uh, some people that we didn't even know as well. So massive thanks to you people. So I think before we get into the main pickups in this box of live animals. Danielle can show you off. Oh yeah, some of my bits. Her pickups. Non-live pickups. So I got a scarf. Spider scarf. Really, really soft it's so as well. Soft. I can't remember the person you bought that from. No, I can't either. It so came in this, ba oh, it, didn't. it came no. in a white bag, so there was nothing in it but um, I don't know, but if anybody knows the trader that sold yeah. these, feel free to comment <laughs> it below. And also from the same person, I got these earrings. Let me get them out so I can see them properly. These? Cute. Um, and then from where you buy all the toys from, I got my son a few things. I got him a spider, it's got wheels on it, so... He likes everything with wheels, yeah. so a spider with wheels is a perfect one. I've got him a squidgy slug. He's going to love it, hopefully. And another squidgy toy. Where's this? A spider, it's is a it? a spider where all the bits come out of the abdomen. With a juicy goodness. Yeah. And I got a bracelet which came in this, but I'm wearing it. Was that oh, that was yours. Oh yeah, that's fine. And this, I got this bracelet for myself as well. So that's my non-live. Oh yeah. I forgot about those. Well, we found oh, this yeah. woman as well, didn't we? <laughs> we found this woman. Who makes um, harp harp mania makes her own reptile hides. Yeah, she does a few different things. And I also bought some water things. Water things? I had the words in my head and I... Forgot. Very tired from the journey home. Water dishes. Water dishes, that's it. I was going to say water bowls, that's what they Oh, water uh, bowls, you can see water bowls. The white one, see first, really cute. And a black one. So they're all, really all handmade, aren't they? Yeah, that's everything I bought. That yeah, was when, I, today. when I go back to that woman, she said her website wasn't up and running quite yet, but she had some really nice bigger water dishes as well. So some of all, all of our stuff was really amazing. It was all handmade. Like stone or crystallised bits. I don't really know all that stuff, but it was really really cool. And I got these stickers, inverts with Chaz. Go and check out his YouTube channel. I know he watches this one, comments quite a lot. So massive thanks for passing us those stickers. Uh, right, getting into the massive box then. So we'll take a closer look at everything that we've shown here today at the end of the video. So, in this poly box is as follows. Before we continue this video, did you know that Bug Realms is affiliated with the Spider Shop? So when you next need a stunning new tarantula, some healthy live food, well needed equipment or just in the market for something unusual, please head over to the spider shop via my personal and unique link in the description below. This won't cost you anything extra 
but it gives me a little back in return for your loyalty. Thanks guys. Now back to the video. We have got a 30 pound mystery box from the spider shop, which is the Brexit box. So we're gonna do a separate video on each of our mystery boxes that we got in here. So there is more than one. There is. And this was my plan to get Danielle into spiders, right? The excitement of mystery boxes really worked for me in the early days. And I kind of gave her my card and said, what did you want? And she kept pointing out more and more mystery boxes. So we've got a few. <laughs> we've also got, let's move to this one next. A 50 pound mystery bag. These are from Portsmouth Tarantulas. So we've got a 30, we've got a 50. Steak. And then I asked Danielle, I actually said about going and picking up a £60 mystery box from the spider shop, completely forgetting of a specific type of box I wanted to pick up at that show. You didn't tell me about. I didn't tell her, and she picked up the exact one that I wanted, which is the Gimp mystery box. So if, if for those of you that are confused, that we use that word for spiders or animals with less legs than they should, missing limbs. So in this one it says seven legs. So it's like seven legged tarantulas or spiders, or there may be something else in there that's missing something. Um, and I really, really like those. I had a Hamori from a Gimp box years ago, and that Hamori is still going, still going strong, regenerated its leg, which is really, really cool. And the last mystery box. <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> was the very last purchase of the day. Totally Danielle's fault. Well, we're coming to an end and it's like, what do you I'd want? I've been eyeing it up else? all day. And you said there was only one of these, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, he basically, when he was reading off the mystery bags he had, there was two of the, there was two 25s, one 50 and one 100. There was more than that on the table. Sure there was. No, there wasn't a oh, lot. Oh, well, by the time we got there, that's what there was then. Oh, yeah. It? But at the very end of the day, the £100 bag was still there. Now I haven't done a Portsmouth Tarantula mystery box for years and I've had some amazing animals from Portsmouth Tarantula. I'm not saying that other, other people's aren't as good but the Portsmouth Tarantula has always stuck with me of having really really amazing mystery boxes or bags so I'm really looking forward to doing these and we're going to do them in separate videos because as I said before with, with, with the kids at the minute with the little one being so young, I find it hard to make a video each week. So I can do some videos in advance, get them out so you're not missing out on a week's video. Once she's that little bit older, I can actually find the time to do this again. So moving on, I have in this pot here, the Orphanaceous Species Blue Pane from uh, Gav from Impossible Inverts. So that was really, really nice of him. Didn't expect to get a gift. Um, we met up and he passed me this from his very own breeding stock. So I haven't actually seen the spider yet. I'm going to guess it's a right dinker right now. But, uh, can I see? yeah, you can have a look. If I can spot that one, there'll be footage at the end. If not, you'll have to see it in the future. So, what's next? I think oh. it's down here. I'm not sure that it's too... From Jeremy's Wild World, he chucked me in for free as a gift some more uh, ghost porcelain cockroaches, the Gyna Caffrorum, never know if I say that properly, uh, mixed sizes of 20 plus culture. So they're just gonna go into our current culture for, um, to, well, to enhance the bloodlines. There is still more in this Can box. We have more? <laughs> there is still more in this box. So, in here, I haven't actually spotted this one yet, but as you can see, is a darlingy. Now this was also a gift from a patron of mine, one of the disciples of the realm, Kate, who knew how much I missed my old darlingy and offered me her one. So I'm really, really grateful for that. Thank you, Kate. Now also, Kate offered me at a really good price, and she dropped the price because it was a present for Danielle's birthday. So it's kind of a joint gift between me and Kate. In here, a Grandma Stola Polkra. Now we haven't had a Grand Solar Polka on this channel for years. I had one a little bit smaller than this one that died in a wet malt. But this one is beautiful. It's a good size for Danielle to start off with. 
juvenile grammar stolen poker. So and it was what I wanted. It was it's really pretty. Yes, I think that's the first spider she's ever off her own back said she was interested in. Yeah. So I had to. I just had to buy that one off of Kate. So that was really cool. Also, we were sent some money from Bobby Roberta Merritt, um, one of my other disciples of the realm and we talk on a pretty much daily basis me and Bobby she'll quite often send me over money or gifts for the kids she's absolutely brilliant she's amazing. really really amazing friend um, and she sent a bit of money over for Danielle's birthday and we decided to spend it at the show so I was trying to help Danielle decide on a, another spider purely for herself she could have just took that money and spent it on something else but you were happy to spend it on a mm -hmm. spider um, obviously I had to top this money up a fair <laughs> chunk because well first of all she kept picking up pokies and I was like no you're not you're not having a pokey when you're very new to tarantula keeping you liked a lot of old worlds I said no we're going to start with a new worlds with her I know she's stuck with me with all my old worlds but you don't actually get involved in no. the spiders so to her it's still new and we went for Brachypelma Bohemi or Bomai however you would like to pronounce it and they were there for, what was it, 35? Yeah. Slightly smaller and unsexed. But we decided to go for this slightly larger juvenile sexed female for £70 from Portsmouth Tarantulas. Again, you'll get to see this one in the clips at the end. But it's an absolutely stunning spider. There you are. It's mine. There we go. So it'd be your first two official tarantulas. Oh, I found this one. Oh, yes, well, you did. You found this one. This was on my wanting to buy list. We have the uh, desert hairy scorpion, but the blonde version, so I the lighter know. version. Uh, I didn't know no, that you, you were didn't. looking for yeah, it. You I didn't. just said I saw a scorpion I liked. <laughs> yeah, so you'd like this one too. It's not full size. Really, really awesome animal. Once this one grows a little bit, we will try and get a display enclosure for it. So I've always wanted a Desert Hairy and the blonde version uh, was one that I specifically wanted and they happened to have it. So I was really, really happy with that. And then we bumped into Skana who gave us this awesome picture. I didn't even know he was going to the show. So I was really, really happy to see him just stood there and I was like, I swear that's him. And it was, and he gave us this picture of a very freshly molted or molting, I'm not quite sure, tarantula with the white fangs there. Really, really cool. Awesome photography work, so we'll keep that one. We've got a couple of business cards. There's a Hurtmania business card where we want to buy a few bits from in the future. We've also got Sally's Mad Spiders handmade crochet toys. They were really cute. They were. We just didn't have the spare money on the day, but she had some really, really nice crochet spiders. And then we've got one last thing. I can't even remember what this is. Oh, yes. In here we have my Harpactera Polkripes or Polkripes, however you want to say it, the Golden Blue Leg Baboon. Now if you've been following me for a long, long time, you know a few years ago I had one of these also have a dodgy molt um, when it had just got to around sub-adult stage, this was a few years ago now. Kept it from a tiny sling, a lot smaller than this one is, got it to sub-adult and had a problem with the molt. <clears throat> we think it was an internal issue. Uh, that came out after because it looked perfectly fine but it, it wasn't fine it wouldn't eat later on and it died within a few weeks so yeah that what that wasn't cool so I've got one again now the price has come down significantly this one was 30 pounds for a juvenile I think back in the day when I got them they were this price for like a one centimeter sling if not more so really really happy with that so that is everything in our box. That is our entire pickup. What we'll do now is we'll just show you a series of clips of all the pickups, minus what's in the mystery boxes. So if you want to see what's in the mystery boxes, stay tuned every Sunday from now on for the next one, two, three, four weeks will be our mystery boxes. Unless, of course, I find something else really cool to film that I want to <laughs> chuck in beforehand. So we're not going to do any rehousings. We're actually going to go to bed. It's quite late yes. at night when we got home. So we're just going to show you these clips and we'll do the rehousings of those most likely off the camera. But you will see these animals again. Oh, wait. Pass me, woman. You there, slave. <laughs> Two more things before we go. Nothing live, I'm afraid. 
we have got two tarantula room terrariums. So these are 26 centimeters by 30 centimeters. Now I was gonna go for squared um, to go with our new display shelving, but I really liked these rounded ones. And whoa, and the squared ones were 25 by 25. I was looking for more 30 by 30, they didn't have any, they're 26 by 30. So although it's technically arboreal, it doesn't have to be. I just can raise the substrate level higher depending on what animal I'm keeping in here. And they should, in theory, slot into our display cubes that you have yet to see quite nicely. So I look forward to starting off our display wall of various animals. Right, I'm going to call it now guys, enjoy the clips of our pickups and I will see you next week for our mystery boxes. Thanks for watching, take care. Bye. Bye. Sorry.